the first introduction. Um, now we're going to do the book course, actually. And um, Tanya Mitrovich is uh, our head of department and professor from the department is going to ask you to just come along and, and welcome you along since she's uh, supported this by making all these resources available. Well, it's a great pleasure to be able to welcome you all. As Tim said, I'm the head of the department. And uh, the whole department is very excited about having the teachers here. I just want to say that we all think you are very, very, very important people. We get students uh, that you send to us. And of course, our job depends on what you do. Uh, so that's why you are very important. You're also very important because you probably heard um, how much need there is for computer scientists. Not just in New Zealand, but internationally. So, uh, we, we never get enough students, we never, get, we never produce enough graduates, and for that reason we really need your help. I see that you have already heard, and I'm sure that many of you know that computer science is not just about how to use Microsoft Word and how to send emails and draw pictures. It's not even just about programming, and you will hear today talks from different researchers from the department and different things that they do and how that fits into computer science. We are all very, very enthusiastic about computer science, and the team is probably the leader in that way. So we are, the department is very grateful that we have Tim. He has a lot of experience and a lot of enthusiasm, which is catching, um, for computer science and has done an enormous amount of work in popularizing computer science, not just here, but internationally. He's an international, international leader in this way. Um, so as I said, we all think that you are very important people and I hope that this day, this day and tomorrow and you know, uh, this experience will be very useful for you. I know the team is going to do a great job and we are also grateful for, uh, to Google for making this possible. Um, I would just like to say one more thing and that's that uh, we would like you to encourage girls to go to computer science. In this room normally when we have lectures there will be very, very few girls. Um, but at the same time, I have to say that they are usually our best students as well. Uh, the percentage ranges from maybe 5% in most of the courses to 20%. I'm the lucky one I get most girls. And I guess that's because I'm a female. But on the other hand, I'm the only female lecturer in the department. And there are many departments that only have one, but two <coughs> So please do encourage your girls. Computer science is a fascinating subject. There is so many um, space, you know, so much space for creativity and, and females are appreciated, definitely. Although it looks scary in the beginning. <laughs> I became a computer scientist because of my uh, high school teachers. Some of them have been very supportive, but I must say that they probably became a computer scientist because of one male teacher who said that girls cannot be problems. <laughs> <laughs> and I do like challenges. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I would like you to be not like that teacher, yeah. but like my other teachers. And um, again, I welcome you all and hope that you're going to have a great time here. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. Um, I will just introduce a few of the other people who are involved around here. So most of you have met Simon, who's um, looking after all the registrations and so on. Um, Heidi, who's got a lot of resources and um, has been actually doing a lot of work writing unit plans and things like that. Um, so we've, uh, between Heidi and me, we've um, developed a unit plan for 2.44, the um, standard, uh, which is almost ready, um, but we'll be doing it tomorrow morning. And we'll be giving out, you know, some draft copies and that for people to look at. But ultimately, we'll, we'll release sort of, and it's just one way of doing it. But it's a, it's, it's a it's a pretty detailed uh, suggestion. I think it's up to how many pages? Twenty pages. Twenty pages. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but it goes through this kind of the kind of thing we're just doing now at a level where you can, uh, uh, you, you know, have lots of ideas for things to do. Uh, so. Um, and then you'll see a few other helpers around the place and, and some of our staff will come down and join us in the morning tea times. Um, I just want to do a shout out to Inzac Bit, the um, teachers organisation. Um, who's a member? Good. Um, you totally should be because it's the place to get good information and uh, there's heaps of sharing of resources going on there. And, and 
quite frankly, it's, it's, it's the easiest way to get sort of the, to find out what's really going on. Um, and actually, so a lot of the committee are here today. I thought it might be good to stand up and just sort of see, see who's there. So, John is the president. Great. Okay, so uh, feel free to talk to them. Uh, this session has been videoed. Thank you, Jared. And, uh, and John. And John. Um, and it's going to be put somewhere. Yeah. That will be announced to the participants, and it probably tweets did actually, so yeah. people can see it. It's so. just a slight hiccup with our hosting. Right. <laughs> okay. When we find a host, okay. e e ETV have got issues. Oh. Um, there may be a few photographs taken because one of the things we're really hoping is that this will become an annual event, and to do that, we need to convince Google that it was um, worthwhile, and so we'll see them pictures and video, and uh, we'll do a survey at the end and things like that. Um, if it wasn't worthwhile, that's fine, we'll pick up and do something else. But if you think it's worthwhile, then uh, <laughs> pr provide us with some evidence in the end. Um, I, I have introduced Anthony, um, who is going to um, be one of the main other people who's going to be providing the, the, the core material on <coughs> teaching. Um, tomorrow, um, there's a soapbox session where um, I'm aware that there's different experiences. That, so there, there was going to be quite a bit of time for sharing and getting together in, in the afternoons and so on, but also. Um, uh, uh, there's all these languages floating around that some of you may not have used and so on. And so I've asked a couple of people just to get up and say what they think about the language that they use and why they use it, and scratch and so on. But I am after someone in particular for Visual Basic. Any Visual Basic enthusiasts? Yep, okay, thank you. And C Sharp. Anyone want to do that? Yep, great. So just a five or ten minute spiel about C Sharp and how you've used it and what's good about it. And um, You don't have to sell it, but just give people an idea about all these different languages that are out there. Cool. Um, and also, is anyone kind of blogging or taking notes or anything like that? John is excellent. Great. Okay. Um, but, and when we split out, we might sort of appoint some people just to take notes so that we can, we can share that. Uh, a few practical matters. In the unlikely event of an emergency, we haven't had any emergencies here for ages. Um, <laughs> 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 um, but if we, um, for those who are from out of town, by the way, so the procedure is. If it feels like it's less than about five on the Richter scale, you, you take a bet with your neighbour on what it was, and you look up 15 minutes later on Geo, you can find out. <laughs> but if it's a bit more than that, uh, you get under a desk and make like a turtle, uh, and uh, then then we uh, have an assembly area outside the car park, sort of the primary assembly area. And uh, if, it, if we really want to evacuate everyone, it's across the road in the fields. Um, but we've kind of left all that behind us, I think. Mm. Yeah. Um, if, if you are in the atrium, um, there's a lot of class in the roof. None of it has ever fallen out. And every paint has been checked carefully. But you might want to evacuate through, <laughs> <laughs> not through the atrium. Basically. <coughs> there's, there's exits at both ends of the building. Um, the loo is quite important. Uh, down in the basement, down the far end there. Uh, the cafe upstairs, so you've got a couple of vouchers. We'll, we're providing food and drinks and all that sort of stuff, but if you need the, the uh, coffee or whatever, um, you can go up there um, and they're open all day. Uh, internet access, there's a wireless password over there, and when we're finished, I'll put it. There's also uh, Lab 2 upstairs, which is kind of just above us, um, has got, you can log in there, and I'll give you a login for that. Um, but, you know, don't get crazy on the internet. Um, talk to each other instead. We have a survey at the end. There's lots of posters and free stuff. A lot of you have already clicked on them, which is really good. Um, but the CSTA, Computer Science Teachers Association, which is an international organisation, um, just put this out. La last week was Computer Science Education Week. Uh, yeah. Which kind of falls a bit flat in New Zealand because everyone goes home in Computer Science Education Week, but in America it's kind of a big deal. Um, and they put out this poster, so we've, we've printed off a few hundred copies. You're welcome to grab a few of those. Um, so it's a sort of American origin. You should totally join the CSTA, by the way. It's free, and they send you odd bits of free stuff and cool newsletters and so on. Um, and if I'm lucky, I'll get some forms um, just waiting for them to arrive in the post, and we'll dish them out so you can join on the spot. Um, these posters we actually made available last year, and a couple of hundred people ordered them, which is really cool. So a lot of you probably already got them. Um, but more people asked for them, and some of you may not have them. So it's a set of eight. Um, we have a, a course here on computer science education and students do projects developing resources and this is something that came out of that by one of our students last year um, and it's just a comparison of all of the programming languages which is the second bullet point on the 1.44 standard of courses being aware of different languages and how they work. Um, as I mentioned, don't 
delete your clip drive, it's got heaps of good videos on it. Um, there are two particular sets, all the unplugged stuff, which like has got demonstrations of things like the girl with the scales and all that are on there. Um, it's all on YouTube, right, but it's just it's, it's high quality movie files sort of on your clip drive. Um, and there's also um, a whole lot of um, little short articles from University of Washington. Um, some of their graduates have gone to work for companies like Google and Amazon and sort of well-known ones. And they're sort of about a six-minute clip, and we're playing them out in the foyer, you can see them. But they're, they're really quite good to show students what computer scientists do, um, because okay. it shows them actually at work and at play and all that sort of stuff. Um, so do have a look at those. Um, and new this year, the parity cards. Uh, and we'll look at how to use these tomorrow, but... Um, what we oh, uh, uh, sorry, yeah. over, yeah, over morning tea and lunch too, um, Heidi can give you a demonstration. It's a, how many people have used these before though, or seen them, a few of you? Okay, it's a magic trick. It will impress young kids, teenagers, it's kind of like, not yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it actually teaches um, error control coding, which is that second bullet point there. Uh, and they can experiment with it, and... I managed to get these printed for free by a marketing department, guess why? <laughs> <laughs> they, they, thought, they think it's marketing, I think it's parody, and so we're all happy. <laughs> the, so it's, it's actually, it's got instructions, but challenge Heidi to a game of um, parody magic uh, during the break. Uh, there's, I think there's one in your pack, but we've actually got, so it's not? Oh, okay, only special people got them And then, uh, um, but um, we've got enough for about 15 each, um, and normally you would do it with a class of peers, so it would be enough of a set to, to use with a class. Um, but you have to convince Heidi that you know what you're doing with it first, because we don't want to just dish out lots of black and white cards and go, what? So, so that's fine. Um, now, interesting, some more interesting stuff. Um, this is where you're all from. I thought this is kind of interesting. Uh, what's... Um, but, We've actually got a lot of people from out of town, um, and in fact, this is a slightly more meaningful moment where you're from. And and I've got some prizes actually too. So yeah. 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 So, yeah, that's what I want to know. Yeah, yeah. Athens and Maroo, we just think it's yeah. Right, so this is Monica actually. Who's the Monacarian? Okay. Whoops. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> These are tip drives that you can wear. Um, and also, way up north, um, what was the northernmost place? Who's from way up north? Someone's from Costa Rica. Helen's lost. I had to look up some of these places as well. <laughs> which, which is really cool, actually. Um, and, uh, and, I, and I figure that people who came from around that region must have travelled a few way too. Who's that? Okay, I'm hoping you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> right. Um, and as you're probably aware, there's, there's a, a sort of a repeat workshop in Wellington in January um, for those who couldn't make it here or suited them better, and that's where everyone's coming from. So it's really neat to see New Zealand sort of really well covered, um, not just from the main centres. Um, when we did a survey, I've got to this, when we did a survey to say, if, you know, Wellington or Christchurch, what will suit you, what time, and all that sort of stuff. Someone said, why can't you have it somewhere more central, like Auckland? Made my day. And the answer is, Google asked Victoria and Canterbury if they like the host one, so that's... Google hasn't found Auckland yet, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> um, in, when you registered, um, some, just a few statistics. So this is for all 92 registrations for both workshops. Um, the, about 20 people claim to have used that standard this year, and so lots of people have done programming. But of the 92, you know, roughly half have actually claimed to use some of the standards. I suspect actually we've got a, more people here have used them, so Wellington could be um, a few less, but less peer support there. Um, people, what you said you were planning to do next year, um, lots more, so you know, nearly 70 people were going to do something next year out of the 92, um, and, and a lot more even balance between the three different standards, which is good. Languages. These are the languages that you said that you use, which is really interesting actually, because Python and Scratch are really kind of showing up at, um, quite a bit. Visual Basics obviously been used in schools a lot, and um, Java, Alice, C Sharp, and so on. Um, and then the, the little ones there I, I pulled out, so one or two people um, were using these languages here as well. So there's a fair variety of stuff going on. Cool. That's, that's very cool. 
Um, <laughs> you have to look up some of those too. Um, and, and tomorrow, we'll, especially, we'll talk a bit more about languages and, and teaching and so on. Um, but <coughs> of the registrations, um, you know, lots of people using Scratch. This is for year 11 this year. If you're using Alice and Python, Visual Basic is quite popular and the others have been used. C Sharp um, I th was almost exclusively being used by people in Waikato and Christchurch. Um, and which just goes to show that local universities can have an influence. Uh, Waikato has C Sharp as its incoming programming language. Um, and languages people are thinking about for year 12 and 13. Uh, Python was obviously big. Java. Scratch is, um, can be used for year 12, although it's kind of probably not recommended, it's a bit of a stretch. Uh, visual Basic is all popular. And the really important thing, what keeps teachers going, um, yeah. yeah, 25 people said just give me coffee and no one gets hurt. Um, one of them checked, that did mean they get other food as well. But, uh, um, but since we're up to that, it's time for morning tea. Uh, and we're going to be back here at the time that it says on the list, which I have in front of you.